Where am I? Where am I? <clears throat> that only happened once. Who'd you forget? Mr. Nelson. <laughs> so I'd like to call together the Scott Secretary February 26, 2015. And we'll start off with a uh, roll call. Uh, Jason Greenleaf is absent today. Uh, Charlie Andreessen has been excused as well. Uh, Dave Nelson? Here. Uh, Nick Rico? Here. Mr. Chairman. January 22nd, 2015, regular, regular monthly meeting minutes. So, were there any. Fog Road and then the Industrial Park. Um, Higgins Beach being the, uh, the, the worst of the bunch with a 64% uh, increase is how it calculated out at. And um, working with the Ted Berry Company to develop a proposal for a TV session, we'll go after the biggest hanging fruit and see if we can identify some of the uh, areas where the uh, excess water is coming in. Um, a copy of those pump station flows for the month of January is included. Uh, no issues were noted on, on uh, the data provided there. Uh, this past month, Gary Howard attended a New Year conference in Boston. I was supposed to attend it with, uh, with Gary, but that was the... Um, week of the blizzard that we had, and I stayed back. Uh, Jay Kennett and R uh, Rudy Hale uh, attended the Maine Water Utilities uh, uh, Conference in Portland. Um, through Maine Municipal Health Trust, the district's insurance carrier is uh, Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield, which, as you have heard on the news, had a significant data breach. Anthem will be mailing letters to all individuals whose information was 
access during uh, the recent Davy Beach. Anthem is also offering credit monitoring and identity theft repair services to its current and former customers. Also available to our staff is free credit monitoring services through uh, Maine Municipal Health Trust uh, through their employee assistance program. So the majority of our um, employees have already signed up for this, and we actually had a, uh, one of our staff received a, uh, a phishing call already from um, somebody that's trying to get some data from them with regards to it. They received it at the plant, oddly enough. Um, as you can so imagine, the staff has uh, been working terribly hard on snow removal this past month. They've been doing a tremendous job keeping up with it. Uh, Matt Hyde conducted his uh, biannual inspection of the wastewater treatment facility on, on the 4th of February. Matt was very pleased with his findings. He'll be following up with a written report shortly. I actually received it tonight. I have not yet had an opportunity to read it. Uh, the Pine Point Bridge is scheduled for replacement beginning fall of this year. As part of this project, we'll need to move a small section of our sewer. Once they finish their final layout of the bridge, we can begin that design work. And uh, finally, well, actually, no, finally, I have a couple of other on this. Uh, Willette and Associates were here on, were on site on February 16th to begin their audit. They are uh, anticipating completing the audit this month. It will, I have them slated to make a presentation at our next trustees meeting. Uh, a couple other things. Um, the, uh, we had a fire alarm at, our, at the blower building. Um, I, forget, I don't have the date written down. I apologize. Uh, but what ended up happening after, during the blizzard, the wind actually blew a significant amount of snow inside the eaves of the blower building and uh, shorted out one of the um, heat, heat sensors up in the, the uh, attic area. Uh, the short didn't happen until after the, the blizzard had completed, which was uh, fortunate. Uh, we have since repaired that. And finally, uh, there was the um, uh, Maine Wastewater Control Association this morning held their legislative breakfast up in Augusta, which I attended. That's an opportunity for uh, the association to um, uh, have some time with legislators to present to them some of their concerns and successes through, through the years. So, uh, with that, uh, any questions? I run on the Pine Point Bridge. Are we going to be able to do that work with just our staff, or are we going to have to hire a contractor? We will have to hire a contractor. One of the options that I am looking into is actually rolling the bid of that work under the main, uh, the, uh, main DOT work, so it would be bid as part of that. But it's not something that we would be able to do in-house staff. Right. Any other questions from the superintendent? Mr. Chairman, I'm curious about the three stations. You're going to have Ted Barry look into the Higgins Beach area. Mm -hmm. Would we be able to do some spot checking maybe in the Fog Road and Industrial Parkway area yeah, we'll this do year? Yeah, we'll certainly do some spot checking within those areas. And I've already talked to our staff to, um, you know, to target, that. Yeah. target to target that area. Um, you know, it's, this isn't something that I, I initially originally budgeted for, but it's um, I think it's probably you know, depending on finances. It, 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 the amount that it's going to cost. I think it's a small enough area that we should be able to um, mm -hmm. be able to accommodate, accommodate it. Cool. On, on the I-9 stuff, do we have any type of testing equipment that is mobile that we can look at flows at different places in our system? No, we do not. We don't have any uh, flow gauges or anything like that. We, um, something that Ted Berry or similar mm -hmm. type facility uh, firm would have that type of thing. Okay. <coughs> and when we do the spot checking on the other areas, we'll try to identify what we think and see, put a flow meter up and flow meter down or something. Yeah. And another uh, very, that I've found <coughs> in the past to be very successful is um, you get your back wet during a rainstorm, you just go out and up some manholes and and um, a lot of times you can find out where the flow is coming from just by quick visual observations. Okay. 
As far as Fog Road, hasn't there been quite a few homes added to that out there uh, down Island Avenue? Would that equate the uh, increase we see on that? Not that much. That's a lot of flow. 28, 28 30 homes down in there? Uh, we're talking an increase of about 8 million gallons. That mm -hmm. a lot of flow. <laughs> belay the last. <laughs> What's that? I say belay the last question. A lot of sick people down there. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of water. Yeah. That, that 70 million gallon equates to about 200,000 gallons a day. It's almost up 15% of our current flow. Well, a lot. Thank you. So we'll move on to correspondence. No correspondence tonight. Old business. No old business. And then we'll move on to new business on Eastern Village Phase 3A. Valentine Development LLC has requested district approval to connect and discharge into the sewer the wastewater from the 24 lots for Phase 3A of the Eastern Village subdivision. The service wise for these lots were installed as part of Phase 3 sewer extension. Uh, previously, the district approved. Phases 1, 2, 2A, 2B, and 3 of this project. I recommend approval with the following conditions. The project is within the original service area. The original lot has an allocation of 52 residential dwelling units, which has been, out, been allocated to phase 1, 2, 2A, 3B, 2B, and 3. Consequently, all 24 lots are subject to the capacity reserve fee. This fee is based on single family residential dwelling units without accessory units. Any additional homes, dwelling units, or accessory units in excess of this are subject to additional approvals and capacity reserve fees. Current capacity reserve fee per home is $2,896.06 and adjusted monthly based on the engineer's uh, news construction cost index. Based on the current ENR index, the total capacity reserve fee for the 24 dwelling units is $69,505.45. This fee is due prior to issuance of the sewer permits. Copy of the recorded subdivision plan depicting the amended district approval shall be provided to the district in both paper and electronic format. All sewer services shall have detectable underground utility marking tape placed approximately three feet below grade, directly above the pipe. And then sewer permits required for each house, a complete application, and associated fee submitted to the district at the time the permit is executed prior to being excavated. No site to work shall be completed. Professional surveyed electronic geo-reference CAD drawings with stamped PDF of the CAD drawing and a stamped paper copy to be submitted to the district upon completion of the project. Motion to approve with the caveats attached by the chairman. Second. Any questions for the superintendent? We're all okay, David? Yep. Good. Seeing no questions, all in favor of approving the Valentine, Valentine Development <coughs> LLC Eastern Village Phase 3A. You can do it all over again. Wait. We you, voted you, twice on this. Yeah, we could account yeah. the twice votes plus yeah. Ben single vote. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, moving on to public comment. No public. So we'll move on to trustee. Start with uh, Seth. Uh, I have no comments other than apologizing for being late for the uh, the workshop. So good uh, discussion, I'm sure. Nick. No comment. Bob. I also apologize for being tardy to the uh, special meeting. Uh, other engagement. I uh, want to congratulate all the great athletes of the Scarborough school system competing in all recent competitions. Uh, we've done very well. We have a couple kids going to the New England state uh, meet tomorrow, including the Class A state champion uh, uh, in the shot put, one Hugh McSorley. Go Hugh. Everybody have a good uh, uh, what holiday we got? St. Patrick's Day coming up. 
and we'll see you next month. Hey, let's hope the snow is about over and done with. Uh, we'll go along with that one. Other than that, everyone be safe and healthy. And, and uh, <clears throat> I guess I have no comments for tonight other than I'm looking for a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? You were second? Yeah. Dave was Dave was the mover. Do you need a third? No. I'm good.